Let's take a tour of the Excel workspace. Working clockwise and starting from the top, the first thing we see is the Quick Access Toolbar, which is part of all the Microsoft Office applications, so this may not be the first time you're seeing it. Its name tells you its reason for being, to give you quick access to tools that are used frequently. It contains save, undo, and redo commands. And if you're connected to a network of any kind or Microsoft OneDrive, you'll have an autosave option too. To add commands to the Quick Access Toolbar, click the triangle at the right end and make a choice from the list. Moving across, we have the title bar, which tells us the name of the workbook we're in. Then we have the search box, which searches the open workbook for anything you type into the box. Next, we have the user's initials, showing they're signed into an Office subscription. And then we have the standard minimize, maximize, and close buttons for the application window. Below the title bar, we have the ribbons, which each display a different set of tools. You can right click any ribbon and choose to collapse the ribbon, which means they take up less vertical space. Right click and reselect that command to bring back the full sized ribbons. Below the ribbons, we have the active worksheet. And working from the left, this includes the name box, which tells you which cell you're currently in. When I click in a cell, see the value change in the box. Then the data entry controls confirm or reject what you've typed into a cell. Then we have the function button, which invokes a dialog box you can use to build preset formulas. The next thing you see is what's known as the formula bar, but it's really more of a content bar. Whichever cell you're in, it provides a place to enter or edit the contents of that cell. Down the left side of the worksheet, we have row numbers used for selecting rows within the worksheet. Next, across the top of the worksheet, below the formula bar, we have column letters, which provide half of the cell address. So if you're in cell E5, you're in a cell in column E, and that cell is in row five. Here's a tip. To select all the cells in the worksheet, Click the button at the intersection of the row numbers and the column letters. You can also press Control A as in all. The grid you see below the column letters and across from the row numbers is the worksheet itself. It contains over 17 billion cells. Finally, below the worksheet cells, across the bottom of the worksheet, we have the sheet tabs. the horizontal scroll bar, and below that, the status bar, which is either in ready, edit, or enter mode, depending on whether or not you've clicked in a cell, are adding to or changing the active cell's contents. In the lower right of the workspace, we have a slider for adjusting your zoom. And view buttons for changing how the workbook appears, the default being normal view. And that's the Excel workspace. You'll find out more about how all these workspace elements work in other videos.